All right, we're going to be showcasing the EZA, LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. We're just going to jump straight into it, we're running them under Margin Buu Saga Leader as we go through the legendary Goku event to avoid any copyright strikes from Chalala. Even though I could just easily turn it off, but it's fine. And then the third spot, that's great. <laughs> what has changed with them? Quite a bit, I would say so. So... Now they have the 120% leader for Hyper Saiyans and Joint Forces. They are not a third category leader skill like the new pay to play LRs. Um, what else has changed? Their super attack mechanics is upgraded slightly, where the 12 key is raise attack and defense, and then the 18 key is re massively raise attack. So, with that said, I think additionals is the way to go. Even though th with their criticals, they can do a lot of damage, I think more better is just to go additionals and then you know maybe get some like skill orbs that increase crit or something so um the passive skill essentially almost the same thing except now they get an additional 70 percent attack if vegeta's attacking on the same turn i think that's mostly it if i'm not mistaken and then um uh, maybe 70 percent de defense if goku's attacking on the same turn that's pretty much it. So uh, a nice little extra attack and defense, everything like that. They have no extra abilities or anything. Uh, you, that's usually what <laughs> an EZA does for a unit. SA25 because they are an LR. Uh, with that said, because we need Goku and Vegeta on the rotation with them to get the extra 70% attack and defense and the two key, we do want them next to each other, which means for the Link set, they don't really get much. I'm actually going to float them off because I actually want them next to Vegito. So I guess without the uh, all of the bonuses that they get with Goku and Vegeta on the team, 190,000 defense, which is very solid, especially when you 12 key Subi, you're going to raise that to over 200k. So that's... I mean, you do have a 50% defensive support right here. But under a free-to-play leader skill, not bad indeed. Very solid. I don't know if it's solid enough for Ultimate Red Zone kind of content, but solid enough for majority of the other content. Now, 18 key with the, the great same in 1 and 2 from now on would be really nice. Just a raise attack as well. And uh, they have 3.78 million attack stat. Okay, once we hit over 4 million, that's when we decided it's a good unit. But one critical, 4.3. Power of SA25, massively raise attack. So this will be interesting. We'll only get what? Like, same warrior race, I think? With the uh, Vegito. And then, like, legendary power. I don't think they... Uh, maybe same. Do we have same lineage on the LR uh, Vegito? Yes, we do. Okay, so we get, like, three key, three links. No solid support, no cold judgment. That would be insane if we got solid support. Like, if you can get solid support off, that'd be pretty nice. But luckily, since Vegito is like a first slot kind of unit, it means that you can actually put these guys in the second slot, and with their 12 key super attack, they should be t able to tank. And then if you have a floater unit that does have the good link set, then you'll be looking pretty nice with it. So that is a benefit. If you do run it like that, that is. But uh, other than that, still, the issue is the categories. You only run them under Majibu Saga or Joined Forces. You could probably still get away with Hybrid Saiyans. You just won't see them having like huge, huge numbers. Actually, that'd be pretty lackluster, if I'm going to be honest. Uh... <laughs> Join forces. You can run the 70th anniversary login card with them. Or you get that one lucky rotation where you have like a Goku family or Goku and Vegeta unit. Like the new free-to-play TUI EZAs. We're not even going to touch on that subject until their video comes out. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything about them, but if you know, you know. Here we go. So, as expected, oh they have four links. It's probably like shocking speed or something. 
213,000 defense, 842,000 attack. Raised attack, and if they get the 12 key, then they should hit like 250k or something. I don't know the maths. Five million attack stat. Two million damage. Do I, just from that, do I consider them better than the six year Roshi? Objectively speaking, no. I honestly don't think so. The only reason is just that Roshi's Roshi. I mean, he has so many unique things about him. Revival, support. Dodge. Sun, seal. And he still outputs some good damage. It might not be the most consistent damage, maybe compared to this card. But like, there's got to be some value that comes from just having all of those different abilities. And one thing I really wished was that this card, like if they were to repick the like card name, the card characters for the anniversary, it would be somebody that would be in like the categories of the new LRs. So beyond Super Saiyan and uh, Fuse Fighters. Like if, if they, that's what made Roshi so good as well. Like he fit on the teams that MUI and um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta led. But here, they're just, they're not, you don't even see them together. <laughs> you don't even see them together. Unless you are going out of your way not to run the 200% leader, I guess. 5.4. I should probably put them in the middle. But sometimes I'm a little bit scared that um, Vegito might kill. 3 million damage. So we are supporting them with the Great Same and 18 Key as well. So we are getting that extra little bit of damage. We should be able to Doka Mode next turn. Now it's not type advantage, but still Doka Mode is a Doka Mode. Have we gotten a crit? I don't even think so. I would like a crit. Yeah, like, a good idea, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or Gotenks. I don't know if that would actually still make them... I guess they could, possibly. But, yeah. Um, I think they're super solid. Obviously better than Goku Black. So, they, 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 they still beat 50th Anniversary. And I will say the animations are 10 times better than the 6th year anniversary, so. That's something to say. <laughs> A little bit more respect for the free-to-play side. Here we go. 24 key super. And I mean, when you have all of these restrictions... Oh, you know what? I just realized... We lost all of our defense and attack stat for the seven turns, right? Is it this turn? Because they 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 came out turn three. Is this the is this either the last turn or this it expired last turn? I think I'm, I'm I think I <laughs> I think the passive's gone. That is quite unfortunate. Yeah, six year anniversary, it was the love for free to play. Seven year anniversary was the love for pay to play. <laughs> like, abnormally, they were like, let's give everybody that spends money the best of the best. 6.3 million critical damage type neutral as well. Very solid damage. Uh, for the hidden potential skill, by the way. I have gotten 9 additional 14 critical. I'll probably change it or give additional skill orbs. So don't worry about that. 
Uh, we will probably finish off this phase here. This is the last type advantage phase of the battle. This is usually what we did for the, throughout the whole entire process. The one thing is that's troublesome is that you can't actually transform or you lose everything. Still got the 18 keys though. 3.8. It's also kind of weird that they have like this... The, the seven... I hate the seven turn restriction. I also hate that about them. Why are you gonna have a seven turn restriction, man? You know damn well that free to play cannot beat events in seven turns. <laughs> the only thing you can beat in seven turns of free to play is, um. Super Battle Room. <laughs> Let's see if we get one more super in. You never know. Just one more super in, it could be a possibility. This is Dogen Events. You know what? Some free to play teams can't even beat it at a Dogen Events 7 turns. <laughs> we should be able to get one more super attack in, I think. Oh, don't crit. All right, we should be good. All right, last super attack for this showcase. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're on YouTube, make sure to leave a like on today's video. Much appreciated. Comment down below, subscribe with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily Doken content. This was live over at twitch.tv forward slash jphantom. 4.4 million attack stat for the final attack. One more look at the super. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay busy. Peace out.